Sashimwe Praise be to Jesus. Eh tsorwa hada mukije mu izina rya Yesu Kristo umwami wacu. We greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus, our Lord. Eh tsorashimwe Imana rero kubwiga hunda yo kwiga Bibiliya. We thank God for this Bible study program. Eh idufasha no muri gahunda yacu yo komeza kuba abigishwa ba Kristo. That helps us in our long uh, goal of becoming the disciples of Christ. Lero intego ya Bibiliya so kugira ngo gusa tugire ubumenyi. So the purpose of the Bible is not just to give us knowledge. Ahubwo no kugira ngo hejeje kwakirwa ubumenyi none ho tunabishyire mu bikorwa. But it is to go beyond that knowledge and to apply it in our lives. Eh koko hari bije bwo gusanga umuntu azi byinshi bijyanye na Bibiliya. Because uh, it's possible to know a lot about the Bible. Ariko none ho gusanga mu buzima ntago nta mumaro bigirira umuntu. But then you realize that it is not impacting their lives in any way. The desire is for us uh, to whatever word of God we receive. It is for us to apply it in our lives. So as you know, we are learning about the love that comes from God. That is our topic. And in the previous teachings we had from the senior pastor, we learned about the different types of love. And though there are so many types, but we have talked and put an emphasis on three types of love. We saw that agape love is the highest form of love and it is about other types like phileo and eros. And we saw that we can only get that love from God because ourselves we don't have that love in us. And the desire of God is for us to reach to attain that higher level, higher uh, dimension. Uh, so uh, if we start from Eros, we saw that this is the love for married people. Because this love is there to satisfy the desires of the flesh. We can say that this is the kind of love that looks at one's interest. And we saw another type of love which is philophilia. It is a love that is uh, found with the brethren, the friends. So agape love, what it has more than the other. Rukundo rwa agape rwo icyo rurusha izindi nkundo What agape love has more than other types of love Rwo ntago rureba inyungu zarwo gusa It doesn't look at its own interests Ahubwo rutera intambwe but it makes a step beyond Aho rwo gusaba no gukunda umwanzi wawe Where it even asks you to love your enemy Aho ndetse runa gusaba aho kugira ngo urebe we inyungu zawe aho gwo witangira abandi ushire nabandi imbere And it asks you to put other people's interests first even before your own interests Satan uh, uh, What the devil wants is to distort uh, or to put upside down the plan of God. In other words, he wants to confuse our self love or our interests with uh, our selfishness with the real love. 
wenda dufashe nko mu rugero rusanzwe rugendanye no gukunda nako hagati yabahungu nabakobwa If you can take a practical example from the love relationships between men and women Muzi nk'ibintu wajya bita ngo ni coup de foudre cyangwa se ngo have a crush you know that crush the way we we talk about it Ugasanga no rukundo rushingiye gusa kumaranga mutima It's just a love that is based on feelings and emotions Rushingiye kubyo wabonye no namaso yawe On what you have seen with your eyes and the way that love comes like uh, you know striking the same way it disappears because it doesn't have a strong foundation but God wants us to have the agape love that puts others first and that sacrifices for others and then now God hasn't asked us things that he didn't set an example for the word of God tells us that we love God because he loved us first so yes we are going to set the example Jesus came to set the example so that we might attain that kind of love by learning from him and imitating him there is a verse in Bible that says that if you love your brother you can do what you can do what you can do there are so many scriptures that talk to us like uh, the John 3 16 that talks about the love of God that caused him to give his one and only son and now Jesus has done something great to set an example for us of that agape love the Bible says that even though he had the nature of God he didn't consider that a likeness with God that being with God as something to grasp and to hold he rather accepted to humble himself and he came and he became a slave he came and died for us on the cross and he has paid the great price which was his blood uh, for example you know when you go to a store a shop and you go to buy something for you to know the value of what is being sold you look at the price tag so the price tag that is on us it is the blood of Jesus let us clap for him because that's something powerful those are the things that are very important that are attached to our identity because sometimes you get confused and we think that our value is proportional to what we do what we have but our value is the value that God has bestowed on us and that is the blood of Jesus Christ and that's why that thing should cause us to tremble because it is something powerful that God has done for us now we see how God has given us that example he came and he died on the cross for us now after he had completed his mission here on earth there is something he has asked us he said as my father sent me in the same way I send you love each other just like I loved you and then the world will know that that you're my disciples now as you know uh, we have uh, an objective a goal of becoming disciples of Christ 
Lero icyo imana itwifuzaho icyo Yesu dusaba kandi nimbaraga zaza rikwa ngo zidushoboze tumwemereye And what Jesus is expecting from us and he provide the strength for us to achieve that No kugira ngo urwa rukundo rwa agape yatweretse Is so that that agape love he has demonstrated for us Kugira ngo rukorere muri twebwe natwe tubwereka abandi It is for us to allow it to walk through us and so that we might show it to other people too let me tell you something uh, important. You know all the problems you have here on earth? You know that if each one of us had agape love, you know, we wouldn't have any of those problems. But the main cause is that we don't have or we are lacking that love that goes to that level. Uh, now, uh, let us proceed to our today's Bible study. The desire of love is that everything we do might be driven by love. Uh, this is the Bible saying that that everything we do it should be driven or poor uh, supported by love the reason why it's very important is because everything we do that is not done out of love it becomes useless let us read in first Corinthians uh, uh, we we'll read chapter 13. Ravuga ngo ngo nubwo navuga indimi z'abantu niza ba malaika ariko singire urukundo mba mpindutse nk'umuringa uvugwa cyangwa icyuma kirenga uh, though I, ha I speak the, with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I've become a sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains but have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, but have not love, it profits me nothing. Here they show us great things that people can do. Imagine going to the extent of giving your body to be burnt and to die, but without love. The word of God says that if you do that without love, it profits nothing. Uh, so if we base on these scriptures we have just read the Bible even tells us the things that are done in the work of God here we see things like faith, uh, faith and giving yourself in different ways here the word wants to show us that even those things we can do called like service to God but that do not come out of the love of God it is of no use you know there are two things we need to differentiate uh, you know, there is this kingdom of the world we live in and there is a the kingdom of God. So we like to think that those things we do in the world, uh, they work the same way in the kingdom of God. Uh, for example, let's take uh, an example in our secular jobs. Our, the boss can tell you that whatever I expect from you is for you to uh, give me profit. 
iyo yabonye wa musaruro ibyo kuvuga ngo attitude y'umutima wawe nta kintu kinini biba bimubwiye and you know when he gets the result he's expecting he doesn't care about the attitude of your heart while doing that ariko mu bwami bw'Imana nta garuko bimeze but it doesn't work the same in the kingdom of god ibyo wakora byose uko byabingana kose attitude y'umutima wawe itameranye neza n'Imana Whatever you might do with the wrong attitude of your heart that is not in line with God, Biba it becomes useless. Let us, a take, let us take an example here in church. There are people doing different kinds of work. And there are some people of us, let us take an example of the worship team. You know, they come here so many times so that they can do their work. You know, they can't come here and sing without having done practice. But you know one thing we need to be careful about in the kingdom of God. You know when you're doing all those things, but you're doing it for your own interest or because you want the attention of people. You know you're not storing up for yourself wealth in the kingdom of heaven. Now what we should do is to ask God to help us do everything out of love and to bring glory to his name. Because the word of God tells us that whatever we do, we should do it to the glory of God. So if we are people who are after interest, who want interest, and we need to sow for ourselves a lot of treasures in heaven, let us be mindful about two things everything we do should be driven or coming out of love and it should all be to the glory of God you know uh, basing on the Bible what it tells us many people can do the same things or things that are similar but God approves of one and he disapproves of the other let us take some examples in the Bible to make this clear. Let us look at uh, Cain and Abel. Abel, he offered uh, from his livestock the first fruit of his life. So. No, no, and Cain, he offered the first fruit of his crops, what he had harvested. Didn't they offer the offering, all of them? But God approved the offering of Abel, but he didn't approve the offering of Cain. What is that thing that brought the difference between those, those two things? Here in the book of Genesis, it's clear God told Cain, said, if you do well, won't you be approved? Won't you be accepted? That question is still applies to us today. If I do good or if you do good, won't you be approved by God? Another example we see in the Bible is the example of Saul and David. Uh, uh, you see in the Bible that Saul has done lots of wrong things and he always asks for forgiveness. You even see that he wanted to kill David at some point. And he asked for forgiveness and he kept repeating the same things. But it reached a point because God looks at the heart. 
imbabazi Saul yasabaga ntago zabaga imbabazi zo kumuntu ariko zaturutse ku mutima God saw that the forgiveness Saul was asking for it was just something coming out of his lips but it was not from his heart Ndetse nabyo byatumye Imana ifata ikemezo cyo kugira ngo ihagarike ingoma And it caused him it caused God to dismiss his kingdom Ariko se Dawudi we ntiyari amakosa yakoze But uh, did then David do some mistakes too some wrong things Ariko aho yamenye ko yacumuriye ku witeka nk'urugero gye yafataga Bathsheba umugore wa Uriya But when he knew that he had sinned against the Lord for example the case of Bathsheba the wife of Uriah Igihe umuhanuzi Nathan yarakimara kubimubwira Just after the prophet Nathan had told him that Yesa avuga ngo nacumuye ku witeka He said I sinned against the Lord Ariko none umuhanuzi Nathan aramubwira avugishijwe n'Imana But the prophet Nathan under the inspiration of God told him Aramubwira ngo icyaha cyawe gikuweho He told him your sin is removed Ahanga ha byose ni ibintu bitwereka abantu dushaka gukora ibintu bisa ariko Imana iracengera ikareba umutima wacu This shows you that we can do things that are similar but God goes deep and he looks at the heart So ni byabuje Dawudi ko abone umugisha ukomeye ku Imana kuberako umutima we wari umeze neza imbere y'Imana David still found blessing before God he still found uh, favor before God because his heart was right with God Urundi rugero ngiye ngo tweho rwanyuma n'urwa Anania na Safira Another last example like us to look at is the example of Anania and Safira Safira eh tubona mu byakozwe n'intumwa mu gice cy'ambere guhera ku murongo wa mbere kujya kwa 11 We see it in Acts of Apostles uh, chapter 5 from verse 1 to 11 Mwibuke ikintu turimo turavuga nuko ngo ibyo dukora bebe bisunitswe n'urukundo Remember our point here is that everything we do should come out of love Urukundo rutari kugira ngo dukorere amaso y'abantu Love is not just for us to please people's uh, eyes or doing it for people's eyes Cyangwa se tureba ku nyungu za or looking at our own interests Hano Anania na Safira nibo bafashe umwanzuro kugira ngo bagende bagurishe umurima wabo bazanye ibivuyemo babishyire intumwa za Yesu Here this couple Ananias and Safira they are the ones who took the decision to sell their plot and to bring the money to the apostles Ariko noneho barangije baravuga ngo reka dukura hi gice dutange igice cy'ibyo twagurishije umurima wacu But after that they say let us keep a portion of what we have uh, sold the, the the money we sold the plot for and then we give another portion no no peter hari kiri kimwe yabajije ananiya there is one question peter asks ananiya yaramaje se mbere na mbere cyo kugurisha si byaturutse ku si cyemezo wifatiye ku giti cyawe he said in the first place when you went to sold your plot or your land was and it your decision the decision of your heart ese umaze kugurisha mu rimo ugifita ugifita ayo mafaranga and after selling that money you still had that money Kujirango after selling the land you still had that money kugira ngo none utere intambwe uze hano utuzana ibyo bavanyemo nubundi si we wafashe icyo cyemezo now for you to come make a step and bring uh, what you had sold the land for was and it you who took that decision none ntabwo ati kubera iki wahisemo kubeshya umwuka wera and he said why did you choose to deceive the holy spirit hano ntabwo nabuze ngo kuki wahisemo kutubeshya yabuze kuko iki ngenzi ibyo dukora byose tukoma kubikora cyo hero cy'Imana he didn't say why did you you lie to us he said why did you lie to the spirit because everything we do we need to do it to the glory of god and then ananias he died there and they went to bury him the unfortunate thing is that he had collided with his wife and whatever happened to his husband is what happened to the wife now as you saw it god wants us to do everything out of agape love and learning from the good example that jesus has set for us so now that we have heard that it is in our interest to start applying it because the word of god tells us that nothing hidden will nothing that is hidden won't be brought to the surface so now talking to you and talking to myself let us first sort it out in our hearts and sort it properly so that we might not be brought to shame on the day of judgment because everything will be brought to the light 
Doctor, we call John Maxwell. Uh, there is a doctor called John Maxwell. Hari chini hani tereka sabaya wakuri watujisha kuri screen. There is uh, a coat of his. Uh, it's there on the screen. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Nafuzi ngo abantu bahagaciro ibyuzi yo bamaze kumenya ko ubakunda. No kuvuga ngo ibyo wamenya byose it means whatever you might know all the knowledge and intelligence you might have every good thing you might have when people see that you don't have love for them they won't care about that Actually, those showing that they are caring about that they are being hypocrites they have other hidden interests in that so why we conclude let us uh, do what the bible says to look for the better gift that is love as we come to the end let us read it in first corinthians uh, chapter 13 and now abide these three uh, now abide faith, hope and love these three but the greatest of these is love so the greatest lesson I want us to learn here if you want uh, what we do to, approve, to be approved by God let us do it driven from the love in our hearts and to give glory to God may God bless you let us pray Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the power that accompanies your word. And we thank you because your word purifies us. And it sets us free. Lord, we commit to you our hearts. And we pray that from today on, O Lord, you help us. That whatever we do for others might come from love. The love that doesn't consider its own interests. The love that considers other people's interests. The love that sacrifices for others. This, basing on the example set by Jesus. So that whatever may do, O oh Lord God, you may approve of it. And that we might store for ourselves treasures in heaven. Amen. Amen. Oh,